Hello everybody and welcome back to Playtech TV. I'm your host Kevin and today we're going to be discussing the differences between uh, 802.11 wireless AC versus 802.11 wireless N. Now there's not really too much comparison between the two because wireless AC is kind of like the new standard whereas wireless N is kind of like the outgoing standard. And it's expected that by 2018 that wireless AC will have completely replaced uh, wireless N. And also 70% of the smartphones coming out in 2015 will be featuring wireless AC technology. Now what are you going to need if you want a uh, wireless AC network? Well you're obviously going to need a wireless AC router like the one we have here. But not only that, you'll also require a wireless AC network adapter so that you'll be able to connect up with it. However, wireless AC is backwards compatible so if you have a wireless N a wireless adapter that will still work with the, the network. It just won't, uh, you won't receive the additional benefits that you would normally get running on a full wireless AC network. So what are some of these benefits? Well, we're just going to discuss the basics. So speed, which obviously everyone likes, faster internet, that's always better. Capacity, which means more people accessing it without issue. Range, which is not so much the distance from the router itself, but more the signal strength and beamforming, which is a new technology that is on only on uh, wireless AC that you won't find on wireless N, and I'll explain that to you and how that can drastically improve uh, your wireless connection. So in terms of speed, uh, the wireless AC just runs away with it. It's like comparing a family sedan to like a Ferrari. Now you are still going to be limited by your ISP, uh, but in optimal circumstances, the wireless AC will be able to run up to 1.3 gigabits per second. You compare that to the maximum cap on wireless N, which is 450 megabits per second. So we're seeing three times the bandwidth on wireless AC, and also on the same channel, there's still uh, performance benefits. With them both running on a 40 megahertz channel, wireless AC will run up to 600 megabits per second, whereas wireless N will still be capped at 450 megabits per second. So we're also seeing big improvements in capacity on the wireless AC network compared to wireless N. So on wireless N, you don't really want to be going above 30 or 40 people on one single access, whereas on wireless AC, you can go up to 90 or 100 people on a single access. So that's a big, big difference there in favor of wireless AC in terms of capacity. So in terms of range, the wireless AC isn't really going to go further than wireless N. That's not really what we're going with here, and that's not really that relevant for most people anyways. It's more that the signal strength will be much better on wireless AC at the different ranges compared to wireless N. For example, in optimal conditions, remember, at 75 feet away, a wireless N router will have an average data rate of 200 megabits per second. Now when we compare that to wireless AC, which at 75 feet away once again, has an average data rate of 400 megabits a second. So big difference there, and that's all just down to signal strength itself. And that's the benefits you get in terms of range with wireless AC over wireless N. So the last thing we're going to talk about is beamforming. Now what this is, it, is it provides directional signal transmission and reception. And this is only available on wireless AC and not on wireless N. So the relative direction of the wireless signal is known and the signal is strengthened in that direction. So basically what that does is the router will amplify the signal in that direction of where the wireless device is. That provides a stronger signal and better performance over overall out of your wireless network. So I hope that helped you understand the differences between wireless N and wireless AC. And wireless AC is just so much better. It's such a vast improvement over wireless N. Now you can come down here to Playtech and grab yourself a wireless AC router like this Linksys WRT1900AC, which is an absolutely excellent router, and grab yourself a wireless AC network adapter uh, to go with it and set up your own wireless AC network at home or at your business. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys again on Playtech TV.